So let's say you and your friend are talking about gravity and you stumble upon mass and weight. You use the terms mass and weight interchangeably and your friend points out that they're not the same thing. Is your friend right? So let's say you and your friend went to the mall and you were going home. You realize as you try to start your car that it doesn't work. It won't start. So the reason is because you forgot to check out that check engine light. And now you have to push your car out of the parking lot because you don't want to pay extra hours until the tow truck arrives. <sighs> you point out that the car is too heavy to push, but your friend points out that its heaviness doesn't matter. Its mass is significant, which means that it has inertia. What does that mean? So inertia is basically a property of matter that means it tends to resist being moved around, but once it starts moving, it wants to keep moving. So if you wanted to lift your car, that would be mission impossible because your car is very, very heavy or it's very massive and gravity acts harder on more massive objects. So lifting it, impossible, but pushing it is a different scenario. So here, when you push the car, you act horizontally against gravity, really. And then once you start pushing it, it gets easier and easier. Once it starts moving, it keeps moving and it gets easier as you go along. How about a different scenario? You manage to climb on Mount Everest somehow, and your friend is in Death Valley, a very, very hot depression. A depression is a place that is below sea level. So you both manage to get to these places and you decide that you want to weigh yourselves. Your mass is the same, I mean, the number of particles inside of you didn't change, but you still decide to weigh yourselves. And once you weigh yourselves, you realize that you weigh less on Mount Everest and your friend weighs more in Death Valley. Why is that? So the further away you are from Earth's center or the point where there's most gravity, the gravity is less, obviously. And the closer you are, the greater it is. So if you wanted to calculate the force of gravity, it would be 9.8 newtons per kilogram. If you wanted to calculate your weight, it would be your mass times that, which would be, for example, 50 kilograms, and that would be 490 newtons. What if you went to the moon? Well, then you would strap an astronaut suit and calculate your weight. So your mass stays the same, but the force of gravity is less, so you have 80 newtons. So if you want to lose weight, you should get yourself in a rocket and fly away to the moon. Totally a great idea. But just remember, your mass will not change 